everyone. Welcome to another Kev Central video. Today we're going to be looking at the Pittsburgh Pro 1 half inch drive digital torque adapter. This will allow you to convert any wrench, uh, any ratchet wrench, into a torque adapter or a torque wrench. And the way you do it is take this adapter, plug your wrench in this side. You've got a half inch socket on this side, but you've also got included a 3 8 and a quarter inch drive adapter. And this will allow you to torque 29.5 to 147.6 foot pounds. And just show you the back here, just in case you care. Yeah, three color LED and so on. But let me cut away really fast. Let's see, there's, where's the item number? It's always on the front. Yeah, this item number 68283. I'm going to cut away really fast. I'm going to get this out of the package and let you guys take a peek at it. Okay, we've got it out of the package. I've pulled the battery strip out, but just to show you, uh, this is a little plastic case that it comes with. Pretty nice. And it comes with a card here that's just <laughs> part of the packaging. But here's your instruction booklet. It tells you the instructions, but I'm just going to Basically, and you can see the two extra, the three eighths and the one quarter adapter. And this little shell case got a Pittsburgh Pro logo on it. Texture, it's a pretty cool little case. Even has some eggshell padding there uh, so you don't mess up your display. But let me show you how this works. Uh, you take your socket, uh, your ratchet wrench, pop it in there. And of course, as I mentioned, you've got your one half inch drive and so on, but uh, you turn it on and see if we can see that there. And you have a couple of different settings. This is on the foot pounds, but you can change it to inch pounds or foot pounds. You can also, let's see, do that by pressing, yeah, kilograms meter, Newton meters. I don't know if you, how well you can see that. And then foot pounds, what I use uh, pretty much on everything. And you can also do it to where it will trace. So as you're torquing down on your wrench, it'll trace how far you're going and show it, you know, 10, 20, 30, and so on. But it'll do it down to the decimal point value. But you can also uh, set it to this and it'll peak. Uh, that's the peak when you get to your peak torque. That's what I use most of the time. And you can bump up to set it to whatever you want if you want to get a beep uh, when you're torquing and so on but the beauty about this little thing that i use is let's say i don't know let me lower this down just a little bit here let's say you also purchased a pittsburgh pro torque wrench you, know, you can get these things on sale for like 10 bucks but are you really going to trust a 10 dollar torque wrench to your to your delicate project well, let's say you're working on say a gun something where you really need some fine torque or uh, you know a transmission something like that where all these little things little small values would matter well what you can do is obviously you know you're checking with the pittsburgh pro harbor freight wrench and a pittsburgh pro adapter but i found these to be pretty accurate uh very accurate as a matter of fact i have a buddy that's got a torque calibration machine well it says it's calibration but it actually just measures torque on wrenches uh, for his shop and this was pretty much dead on it was within i, I think it was 0. 0.6 foot pounds of torque uh, was the biggest variance that we had which was pretty impressive he was really shocked especially since i wagged up a pittsburgh pro wrench i don't think it was this three eighths inch drive it was my half inch drive that i brought up but it was which uh, i've got laying close to me but conveniently out of reach uh, it was actually i mean dead on i couldn't believe it but what you can do is you can take this thing you can torque it down in your vise and then turn it on and torque your torque wrench and you can check your torque wrench to kind of calibrate it make sure it's doing what it says it's going to do but at any rate just wanted to do a quick unboxing and overview of this pittsburgh pro digital torque adapter get it for, I think it was 25, 26 bucks at Harbor Freight. Well worth the investment if you're gonna be doing a lot of torquing, uh, especially, you know, after wrenches sit a while, you never know what's gonna to happen to them, right? Well, digital won't change. 
So, yeah, I bought it just to have it so I can constantly check my wrenches just to make sure that I'm getting what I need when I go to torque things. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.